The Empires of Ego By the World of True Science Humanity during the thousands of years of our evolutionary process has built many societies. They have been built, destroyed, and then built again, one on top of another's ruins. If we observe these human societies closely, we can obviously see the evolution of intelligence for the advance of the technology of these societies. We humans have a great ambition for advancement. We also have a great ambition for control. It appears that we have no need to be encouraged in this, as it seems to be designed within our natural system. There are two very common themes within the structure of all human societies up to our time. The most prominent is the ambition for control in humans, which has shown itself in the form of empire, and dominion. The second common theme is the apparent lack of self-control in humans. For all of our ambition for control, it appears to be limited to controlling all but our own selves. The two types of control we are discussing are as far from one another in likeness as the night is from the day. One is driven by our ego, and the other comes from an honest, genuine, and understanding spirit. Both types of control demand effort on our part however, one works to destroy, and the other to build. The stress required for dominating works death to our system. On the other hand self-control is working to build our own life. Earlier we mentioned the obvious advance of technology in humanity. The technology and what we have used it for is witness of our ambition for control, and obvious lack of self-control. The honest human will be able to see that humanity has had many obvious encounters with the spiritual realms of our father the great creator throughout our history. While supernatural experiences are prominent, the most prominent encounter has been the advance of human intelligence over the past several hundreds of years. Can any honest human not see that a mere 100 to 200 years ago we were moving about by foot, or horse, and cart? Can we compare this to today and not realize that something very significant has happened? Can we really imagine that this evolving in human intelligence just happened accidentally? Do we suppose the fact that we were scooping horse poop off of the streets not long ago, and today exploring space is happenstance? What has humanity done with this miraculous encounter with our father the great creator's spiritual realms of truth? We have done what we have always done when our Father has revealed the spiritual realms to humans. We have taken these gifts and exploited them to advance our own egos and ambition for control. As with all spiritual movements, we have ignored the significant purpose for it, and confused it with coming from our own greatness. There is not a spirit, in a body on this planet today who can take any credit whatsoever for any skill or ability we make use of in our lives. The ability we use exists because of our Father the Great Creator and the spiritual realms of truth. We were designed that way. However, with all of the magnificent design from our Creator given to us to as a gift to learn and enjoy life, instead we use it for our own destruction. Even the skills we use daily to design and build in our societies, we use for the most part to further the ambitions of our own egos. The entire structure of our current society is built toward the vanity of boosting our own ego and desire for control. We will build great buildings, cities, and empires. However, we will not lift a finger to grow real food. Honest agriculture is now beneath the common citizen. We can now stroke our egos through greater achievement, through business, and careers, while we starve to death for want of proper nutrition. Who needs mothers, and dads, or a true family environment? Who needs to help to raise the next generation of the human race with a strong body, an honest truth-seeking spirit? We now have careers and technology. We can now slave all day at a career that will satisfy our egos, and fill our lives with all of the useless vanity that our current society has developed to offer us. We can now live as we please and pay others to poison us with toxic foods, and when we get sick go to the doctors and take their toxic medicines. 
we can work and pay for someone else to educate the next generation to prepare them to fit into our shoes when we get sick, and die because we neglected the one thing that actually mattered, our own health and spirit. For all of the miracles of life revealed to the human around us from our father's realms of truth, and for all of the intellectual advancement, the human is still in the dark ages of self-destruction. We humans will remain in these dark ages until we are honest with the fact that truth is the source of life, and our father the great creator has provided for us all that we need to live an honest and successful life, right here on this earth. Our father the great creator did not create this fantastic paradise on this planet, humanity, and the rest of the life on it in vain. It was not created for some mythical and fanciful future. It was created for us, the living, to learn to live, and to be honest with the truth. Truth and the applying of it is the source of life, and living. This is just words to the honest and wise, honesty and understanding is the only true belief. Without honesty and understanding we do not know what to believe. To accept others' opinion of the truth without proving it to yourself, it is being deceived it is not believing. We must understand to believe. I do realize that the facts and truth is difficult for Christianity to face honestly. Until next time, sweet dreams, truth will solve all our problems before we create them, and ignore or reject the truth, problems will multiply all by themselves. Have a great and a meaningful life, if it is at all possible. Just whispers, of the ghost of reality.